when you've worked with leaders in that that don't preserve their culture or are not intentional about preserving their, their culture, what can happen to that organization? Well, I just had a great conversation with the founder about a C-level executive that was great on paper, but the way that that leader managed a team, it was very different from how everyone else managed a team. Lots of um, information hoarding, a lot of credit being, you know, not shared or attributed fairly. And they realized that all the opinion, uh, all the employee engagement scores had plummeted in this in this particular group. So they took that important step of dismissing this marketing leader. And just a short period of later of maybe six months, the engagement scores were enormously improved. In fact, peer level also had a, a high, high engagement score based on, well, just much more satisfaction, not having a toxic personality in the C-suite really um, helped the company overall. So I, I think the impact is much broader than you might imagine. If you're not intentional about values when you're hiring an executive, you really run the risk of that person changing the culture in a negative way. 